Welcome back to Native Speaker eLearning. Okay, so you'll remember in previous videos we looked at how to use cause and effect using the phrases effect, influence and impact. You'll remember that we use these nouns with the preposition on and usually the verb have. We also added adverbs and adjectives so that we were able to use a full phrase like have an extremely significant impact on have a very adverse influence on, have a particularly important effect on, those kind of phrases. In this clip, we're going to look at how to develop these phrases even further by adding some very small but powerful phrases onto the end of the sentence. These phrases are in that, in so far as, and in the sense that in that, in so far as, and in the sense that. Three beautiful, simple little phrases that have a very powerful effect. Basically, what these phrases do is that they answer the question, how? How do you mean? Okay, so when you give an opinion, like something has an extremely significant impact on, and then you say what it affects, it's only natural that you'll say how this is so. And the phrases, these phrases here, will be able to do that for you. So let's have a look at a few examples. Let's have a look at the adverb, adjective, noun combination. Firstly, the adverbs. Extremely, particularly, especially, really, hugely, extraordinarily, are all synonyms of very. And most of them, apart from very itself, mean very, very. Quite, rather, relatively, and somewhat, these are all synonyms of kind of or a little. Don't forget that a or an must go after quite. It doesn't go before. So it's different to the other adverbs in that category. In terms of adjectives, significant, profound, serious are all synonyms of important and may be either positive or negative. Positive and beneficial mean good, whereas negative, adverse and harmful mean bad. Let's look now at how to talk about effect and to develop the sentences. So as we've seen, effect, impact and influence are nouns that always work with the preposition on. And adjectives are put beforehand like profound, significant or important. Then adverbs describe adjectives, so we have extremely, hugely and very. This adverb-adjective-noun combination is a very effective and rich way of describing something. This combination usually works with the verb have, so you could use have, will have or has, depending on what subject to use. Don't forget you'll need an article between the verb and the adverb and you should be careful that these articles uh, match the first letter of the adverb. So the first letter of extremely is a vowel therefore you need an. The first letter of hugely is a H, a consonant, therefore it needs a. V consonant needs a. And then you just add your subject, like religions, recessions, or money, and an object like society, the world, or education. And there you have the basis of that sentence. These sentences will have a hugely significant impact on the quality of your essay. But now, what we want to do is to develop this sentence. And how can we do that? Well, we'll add this explanation link phrase. And these are, in so far as, in the sense that and in that. And then you just put your explanation here. In our next clip we'll have a look at what kind of explanations can go here. Okay, so as you can see, not exactly rocket science. Get some practice. That's all from me. I'll see you next time.